Oil is still trading around the $80 per barrel despite restless efforts to break just above that level. Traders continue to assess the prospects for global oil demand. It seems like China is taking active steps to shore up its economy and lift restrictions. At the same time, there are growing fears of a looming recession and lower energy demand, especially in Europe and the United States, due to aggressive interest rate hikes by central banks. Data from the American Petroleum Institute showed that U.S. crude inventories rose by almost 15 million barrels last week, uh, while experts expected a decline of 2.5 million barrels. Thus, oil prices have extremely limited upside potential. Nevertheless, the quotes are not in a hurry to go down, as investors fear that the situation may change for the worse at any moment. The risks for the global energy market are still high, especially given recent US media reports about Russian selling prices and the alleged lost revenue. According to estimates, they amount to, um, to $200 million per day. This makes investors think that Moscow has simply come to terms with the price cap introduced by Western countries, which in turn puts pressure on the market. After all, if the world's second-largest oil exporter sells oil at fairly low prices, other sellers will be forced to reduce their export prices as well. And now let's take a look at the trading chart. Over the past day, the situation has barely changed. Brand crude oil futures can continue drifting around the $80 level, showing subdued activity. Thus, the price is forming a sideways range, whose boundaries can be considered as a signal levels, 81.5 in the uh, event of an upward movement and 77.5 in the case of a decline. The Russian currency is showing incredible resilience. It has been trading in the range of 69.50 to 70 uh, rubles per dollar for the second consecutive day. Such a tight range is not typical for the ruble. Obviously, it will try to leave their range soon. Much depends on the energy market situation. More specifically, it depends on the way current prices will affect the balance of a pay and the budget surplus. If they are not harmed, the Russian currency will most likely resume its movement towards 60 rubles per dollar. Information on this issue will come in a gradual manner, in the form of estimates followed by official reports. At the same time, one should not write off political factors which could turn things upside down, and they are hard to predict, moreover, the ruble is extremely vulnerable to them. Speaking of gold prices, there are reports that India, the world's third largest economy by purchasing power parity, increased its gold reserves in the late 2022 along with Russia and China. It turns out that the world's first and third economies are gradually reducing the dollar and euro holdings, shifting their focus to physical gold. This creates a risk of a shortage of the yellow metal in the market, thus keeping its price at a relatively high level. Besides, this paves the way for its further growth. As more accurate data for the fourth quarter of 2022 becomes available, gold may rise not only to $1,900 per ounce, but also jump to $2,000. In the meantime, gold has got out of the sideways range limited by the level of $1,869. This move signals a possible continued uptrend. If the price consolidates above 1880, it will hit for the $1,900 mark. And that's all for now. We continue to learn developments on financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you soon.